Hello, YouTubers, it's me, the Pope Pleasure, the Monday Messiah, the Sunday Sermon, the only free time, free time, free time. KC Chess Champion Marcus the Dust of Warns, baby. Uh, today, we're going to show you how to get Bond Points, Persona 5 Strikers, Merciless, merciless, how you pronounce that dodgy word, difficulty. So this is a lot of late game, new game, I mean, it's not late game, it's new game plus bond point farming. This is the last trophy I need to get, see I'm only on level 70. So this is, what I've been on game FAQs, apparently this is the best way of farming some bond points. I'm just going to do it, so I'll just Let's get back on here for a sec. You see I've got 92,000 points to get to the next level, so let's go and do this. So, you may guess from this screen that we're on the second palace and new yeah, game plus merciless difficulty. This is where you need to get to, to do this grind, okay? We'll grind out this trophy. The pacing's not very good, though. You have to do an extra 30 levels of grinding to get this max bomb point, do you know what I mean? This is the last trophy I need to get. I don't normally go for trophies, but I've only got one left, so you might as well, if you know what I mean. So we're in the second jail, and you need to, exp oh no, I didn't, I pressed the wrong button. You don't need to just go straight to start the second jail. You need to not do that. Also, you need to not start for, start, start in Lucifer, because Lucifer's got my uh, attack, speed, and defense masters. Now, you, you do this um, palace or jail, whatever you want to call it, until you get to Sendai World Center. And we're going to fight the uh, Dire Shadow over and over again. They respawn in Merciless difficulty. So, we wait for the game to load. It's an old game. And we'll go over here. Run over here. Go and pick up that. Why not? Why not? Now most of this difficulty, the shadows see you almost immediately. So what you want to do is you got to fight some shitty guy first. See, there's this fucking jabroni anyway. Oh, he's over there, look, that guy. So just kill that guy. Most of this difficulty, we just kick your ass though. So for some reason he slimes on these fucking his, all physical attacks. But we seem to get a nice double, double, double. So you're just gonna farm this guy. For some stupid reason you get this message every fucking time. Just shoot him, he can fuck off. Get my bus of Lucifer. Uh, wait for this guy to actually spawn and use the pillar tank. Dodge the stupid wind attack. Use Black Frost. Okay, the idea is we're gonna try and freeze this guy in place. Try and freeze him in place. So he's frozen now. He's frozen. So I'm going to charge with Metatron. Oh no, he's not frozen. I'll just use fucking Ice Age then. I thought he was frozen. It's hard to tell. See, technicals up. That means we can uh, do extra damage. But we're not going to use Metatron. We'll use my Siegfried here. He's going to use Riot Gun. Look how much HP goes there. <laughs> now, for most of this difficulty, that's quite, that's quite a nice chunk of damage there. So let's take that through. Uh, charge Metron. Use right gun. Get a couple of cheeky hits and if you want, you know, do what you want. Mix up a little bit, keep fresh. Hopefully my stupid team starts healing me. Could you hear me now, guys? Could someone hear me, guys? <laughs> there we go, someone's finally healed me. Oops. I found this on my face move. I'm gonna wreck the Snake King. So he's frozen again. Use charge. Use right gun. Use charge. Use ice age. All out attack. Obviously, turning on how much SP you got, you can do what you want. You know, you can use uh, Black Frost's square, square, square triangle to spam. 
A nice move. I don't know why the moves all have stupid names, but they do. Uh, I'm still glowing orange, that means I've still got the buff. Okay, they've healed me this time. So that's why I've got Morgana, Sophie, and uh, Makoto out, because they've all got healing spells. Oh, is he still frozen? Oh, this green ship and is he frozen yet? Okay, I think he's frozen now. Charge. Right gun, all out attack. Boom, okay, just a bit of chip damage now. I could, I could hit. I'm gonna use this guy. So I've got loads of geezers. Have to shoot shots soon. Now. Duh, 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 duh. There you go. So he's dead. Snake King. Got that. Whoop. Man, we nearly got a full bond level. As you can see, that was at like 96,000, I think it was. So we got 90,000 bond points. And uh, yeah, so that's what some late game farming you get more than farming Metatron in your normal playthrough. So there you go, uh, there you go. So that's that's the uh, f uh, farming method. You just do that, you have to leave the pal leave the jail, then come back. But that's the farming method, simple enough. So uh, you saw loose for that. That's my loose for so he starts off with your tat defense speed master. Ma, uh, uh, no, I've got to do L2. Mara's got the old uh, debil debilitate. He was used to be my uh, tax fence speed master slave before. I fused loose for that. Uh, Black Frost has got all the uh, ice moves, as you can probably imagine ice boost, ailment boost, freeze boost, ice amp, ice ace, soul thief. Metatron is just my charge slave. And then uh, my Siegfried has got the gun amp, gun boost, technical adepts, right gun combo, mate. So, there you go. If you're wondering why uh, all my personas have max stats, um, basically it's very simple. I'll show you that as well. Uh, I'll have to go back to the velvet room now. But basically all you have to do is you have to get a... And you this will be hard to do if you haven't already got uh, one of these, but you need a Pixie registered T Compendium, which is the default shit tier Pixie with no level ups or stat boosts or anything. Proper shit tier. Uh, so you go to Svelte Room. Hello. So basically, what you do is you get your shit tier Pixie and summon air. And if you haven't got a shit tier pixie and you're still in the like your first playthrough, not in New Game Plus, you can get them in the first um, jails underground area. Basically, what you do is you get. So I've got pixie, and you just keep fusing pixie. Like your first fusion would probably be. Where the hell is he? Where the hell is he? Uh, see, I've got things at stupid levels, so I don't know where he is now. I'm trying to find Jack and Lantern. There he is, Jack and Lantern. Okay? Which has got max stats. Oh, my stuff. stock's full anyway. <laughs> so, alright. Um. What will you be registering? Uh, it's fresh to you. I've got that Gnaw in a fusion accident. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of this Gnaw here. Alright. So, we're going to fuse this Pixie with something. Um. Something shit here. It's my bicorn shit here. No, my bicorn don't make sense. Right. It's my Jack Frost shit. Okay, my Jack Frost is pretty shit here. Right. So what you do is you'd fuse off um, Pixie and say, so, so, say I wanted to make this Jack and Lantern. Choose with. And I'll just get inherit some random skills. Yeah. 
from the power it has accumulated. So it's, it's, it's already, I've already got some accumulative power, yeah? So she says that. I'm not really explaining this very well. This sort of video has gone into a ramble. But basically, what what, what happens is I'm not... No, I'm sorry, it's just a terrible explanation. Let me, <laughs> uh, let me start again, yeah? So you, you get your shit to tier pixie, yeah? Which I have here. You wish to and what you do... Is you need some persona points and some money to do this. So you get your shit to a pixie and then you upgrade its stats to about 20. Because the more you do it, the, it, the cost increases exponentially. So you get, you get your shit to, shit to a pixie and you upgrade all of its stats to about 20. Like this. And you do it with all the stats. I'm not going to do it with all the stats. But you do it with all the stats. And then you fuse it into something and what people would normally do is choose it with a jack-o-lantern to make a bike horn yeah so that's what you'd normally do so you'd fuse this and you say i'm sure right and then uh, you just pick some random skills you don't need any of these skills and then she asks you this question you're about to use personas as materials that are higher in level than those currently registered would you like to register these and you say no don't do that because you need your shit tier pixie and then you fuse the two personas and she'll mention that there's a cumulative power involved. So you ignore, you skip all that because you don't want to watch that a thousand times. And you get a bunch of extra free stats. But this is what, not, you don't normally see this. It's because my um, jack-o'-lantern has always been registered with a bunch of extra stats. Because you accumulate the power, and then what you do is you fuse the bicorn you just made into a silky, but you'd summon another pixie from your command compendium, raise its stats using the persona points to 20, and then do the same thing again to get a silky. And then you so you go silky, and then you keep fusing until you get to Jack Frost. Because when you fuse Jack Frost, you can go back to Pixie. No, no, you go back to jack o -Lantern. Yeah, you go back to jack o -Lantern. So you keep, so you summon, keep summoning pixies from your compendium, and as you keep adding it, the persona retains extra, you know, some of the stats you've added on. So then you just keep doing it like a thousand flimmy times, and eventually you get a bunch of free shit. I don't need a spy com, so I'm going to get rid of spy com. And as you, because you, you, so you go Pixie, Jack and Lantern into Bicorn, Bicorn, Pixie into, I think it's Silky, and then uh, I think something else, probably. I think Silky and Pixie can fuse together. So you use the three Pixies, and then you keep fusing that until you get to Jack Frost. So then you, no, yeah, I don't think, no, yeah. Yeah, I think it's um, Pixie. Jack o' lantern into bicorn, bicorn, pixie into uh, silky. Then you fuse the silky up to Jack Frost, which you then fuse with another pixie to go back to Jack o' lantern. You just repeat this loop again and again. Every time you use the pixie, you use persona points to um, raise its stats to 20, and that 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 it retains some of it each time you do it. So eventually, you can fuse personas for 99 stats. It's like that. I haven't explained that very well, and I really that wasn't really originally going to even originally be part of the video. But there you go, there you go. It is so max stats, personas, and a bomb point grind. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, I need to get my gnaw back for a fucking forget. There we go. Yeah, I'm sure, mate. There we go. That's back. So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna um, bang my head while I farm these bomb points. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now. Woo!